representing our national officials for this match. First referee, Mr. Romolo Reforzado. Second referee, Mr. Herbert Matematico. Let's call on our starting lineup from our Tacloban Fighting Warais. Team captain is number 18, Jovelin Grace Prado. At number 2, Marianne Esguera. Wearing jersey number 4, Heather Ann Ginoo. Number 6, Andrea Marzan. Number 12, Kyle Negrito. Number 14, Mary Dominic Pacres. Libero, number 11, Eunice Jane Galang. Head coach, Mr. Ernesto Nes Pamilar. Calling on our Banco, Perla Spikers. At number one, Rizabel De Panadera. Number five, Mary May Tajima. Number nine, Amanda Maria Villanueva. Number 15, Roma Joy Dormal. Number 17, Fenella Risha Emnas. And number 19, Nicole Ann Tiamzon. Libero, number 8, Jarella Marie De Jesus. Head coach, Mr. Ariel Dong De La Cruz. This is match number 55, the tail end of the second round of the preliminaries. May the best team between Win. the fighting Warais, and you can see on your screens the starters for the girls in blue. We got Prado, Esguera, Negrito, Pacres, Marzan, Ginoo, and their libero, Eunice Galang. While for the Banco Perla Spikers, we have Doromal, Tajima, Tiamzon, Villanueva, Devanadera, Emnas, and their libero, Giselle Tan. And Coach O, kasama ko ngayon, Bidi Capistrano, by the way, itong pinag-usapan natin na yung Banco for Last Spikers, they have a different set of starters yes. for their team. This, uh, but first of all, good afternoon. Uh, this is not their usual uh, starter, but of course, uh, siguro may game plan si Coach or something facing, like naman the other game nila, hindi nag-start si Nicole, pero eventually siya pa yung nagpanala ng team. So we will see what the Banco Pela Spikers and Coach Dong De La Cruz have up their sleeves in today's game set number one underway. Villanueva will send it to the other side. Here comes Negrito. Sets up Jovi Prado. And that's back set. And that will be an early point for the fighting. What else? It's major slow, slow young start, both teams. But we, 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 we saw a good transition offense from, from Perlas. So, Coach, what are your early predictions mo para sa laban na ito? Lulang una, nothing to lose kasi yung takloban. Eh. So, they will really want to end this in positive sa on a positive note. And then yung banko naman, they're facing them, themselves. Kasi nga, crucial, gruesome yung semifinal series. Eh. So, let's see, let's see. Pero yung perlas naman, you cannot take them out. Kasi talagang veterana itong mga ito. Pero kung ano yung implications ng daru na ito para dito sa banko perlas spikers? Well, they can be number one in this game. Uh, Siyempre, depende pa rin sa result nung ng Green Line vs. Adamson. But of course, uh, as a coach, si coach din, gusto niya syempre, uh, last day of the eliminations, he wants it to be positive. Kung baga, gusto niya manalo, of course. And ito nga yung player of the game natin, coach. Last game, si Chami nagpapakitang gilas dito sa ating set number one. That would be a point for the back of our last fighters. Yes. Good server talaga to si Nicole. Eh. And, ano, ma madalas, uh, nag-start siya ng slow pero pag nag nakuha niya naman yung, yung momentum niya mahirap pigilin look at that nice serve another service ace here for the Banco Perla Spikers early lead 3-2 as Chami will prepare to serve once again for the girls in black this time Negrito to Joby Prado yes Ganyan, yan, trademark ni Jovi Prado. She is really a smart, uh, valuable player. Uh, hindi siya mapipredict right away kung anong gusto niyang gawin. Eh. At alam mo, Coach, lagi ko siya sabi ito si Jovi Prado. Sobrang chill niya, pag nasa loob lang siya ng court. Yes, smile lang. Hardly ever see any emotions coming from her. Hindi nga nagsaswag, pero nakita mo naman. Then, nagbibeliver talaga. MVP rin niya na NCAA. He is a very efficient player. And we... Uh, have Mimi Tajima 
Uh, na pasmile pa because of the cheers of her teammates. For the former Spiders. Lady Eagle. They will go to Dim Dim Pacres. Nandoon si uh, and, and Nas. To Ramal. Negrito to Barbie Marzan. Great save by Chami. And another point yeah, here for the Bank of Perlas Spikers. Well, uh, it's a check five from uh, the Libero of Tacloban. Meitajima. Meitajima serving, serving once again. Jody Prado, soft touch. David Adera. Here comes Jovi once again. Ball is still alive. Manda Villanueva will try and will get it to go for the back of the line. It was a nice tempo Six. set from uh, Emna. Uh, nakita mo naman, she reversed it. Nada siya sa dulo ng, ng court. And then she targeted the antenna and tamang timing from Amanda. So, talagang may chemistry na rin. Of course. Mga mandalaro ng Banco per Las Pikers. And to think na mag-teammates sila sa Adam. So, yes. Emna sa Villanueva. So, they didn't know each other. And, ano yan eh, advantage talaga yan sa volleyball players. Kasi mahirap yung paiba-iba ng, ng tempo ng setting. Kasi importante talaga yan na mag-aabot kayo, especially in transition. So, kailangan talaga, syempre, pag-setter ka, you know how to adjust really quickly sa mga teammates. Mo. Yes. Sometimes nga, sabi ko, kindatan pa lang, dapat alam nyo na. Hey, we'll go to our first technical timeout of set number one. Magbabalik po ang PBL Open Conference. Back here in the PBL Open Conference, let's talk about that game against the Aram Sunakari Lady Falcons. Itong si Dim Dim Pacres, Coach O. Grabe yung consistency yes. niya para sa Tacloban. She dominated in all of the uh, scoring, most of scoring skills. Nakita mo naman, 17 points, team high. And siya rin yung, ano eh, siya rin yung number one sa black nila on that, on that day. Uh, motivated to si Dim Dim kasi talaga na motivated ni Coach Ness Mabuti it's more in preparation for the UAP also so talaga fighter itong taga itong si Buwanang ito and you know Coach it's good to note that si Dim Dim she only joined the Tacloban Fighting Waray at the la last game of the first elimination round grabe yung adjustment na nagawa niya but of course she's also very familiar with her teammates here oh. Uh, lalo na kapag ang nagiging setter nila si yung, yung set, setter niya from the U.S. yun talagang uh, Picard, si Picard if I'm not mistaken yes. now back to this game the fighting what is at three Banco Perla Spikers having a comfortable lead six points nine points right now and that will be Dim Dim Bacres off the block yes oh. yan, yan, yan yung makasama si Dim Dim dyan hindi lang siya ba sa atake nakikita niya kung klaseng block meron so she knows how to tip to check out to swipe it out or to put it in. Team captain, Zoe Prado. Zoe Prado, team captain now serving for the girls in white. Good serve. And Emnas to the Vinadera. Vinadera with a quick attack. As we go, and first, the lead choice for her report. Billy and Coach Oliver, para sa kapitana ng Fighting Horizon, si Jovelyn Prado. Proud na proud pa rin siya sa kanyang kuponan. Kahit hindi sila makakaabon sa Final Four. Sinabi niya, they came from different schools, pero hindi sila nahirapan mag-gel at mag-connect as one team on and off the court. Sinabi rin ni Jovi na dahil ito na nga ang kanilang last game dito sa Open Conference, talagang all-out yung magiging performance nila. Bigdag pa ng kapitana na malaki ang pasasalamat niya kay Coach Ness Pamilar dahil si Coach Ness, ang una niya palang naging coach nung nagsimula siya dito sa Pro League. At ang laging payo at paalala ni Coach Ness sa kanya ay dapat na lagi siyang magtiwala sa sarili at laging tibayan ang loob tuwing maglalaro sa court. Balik sa inyo, Billy at Coach O. Thank you so much, Janine, for that great report. And nga, Coach C. Jovelin Prado na first coach pala niya dito sa pro league ay si Coach Ness Pamilar. Yes. I'm sure kilalang kilalang ko rin. Yes, like what I've said, talagang good motivator yan si Coach Ness, one of the best coach. And handle niya ako noon, nung pa-reserve-reserve na ako sa letran noon. Uh, ano Pinubuking mo naman si Coach Ness. No, no, no. Uh, magaling talaga yan. Great mind talaga yan. Adjustment Para support. Yeah, ano lang naman, eh. kumukuha lang tayo ng mga tips sa kanila. Pero sila yung magagaling. Of course, Coach Ness, yun nga, Coach Ness Pamilar. Like Coach O, one of the brilliant finds dito sa ating Philippine volleyball scene right sure. now. Okay. Also like a father figure, nakausap ko yung mga players niya dati in the previous season dito sa PBL and they all really treat him like a father figure. Yes, during my time ng player, ako talagang head coach Matilda Teres Kutnes, tatay talaga yan, lahat nakikita niya. Kung, kung pati sa personal mo, nakikita niya talaga kung tama ginagawa mo o hindi. So talagang good motivator, good father, and uh, one of the best coach 
si Coach S here in the Philippines. Na nagkaroon tayo sa Pilipinas. Talaga, good mentor din for you. Dahil yes, sure yes. you embody yes. his way of coaching sa yes. mga teams mo ngayon. Eh, during that time, hindi pa po tayo masyadong ano eh, yung mga technical nun. So, talaga ko ano talaga yung, ano niya, yung mind niya yung talaga na uh, apply talaga sa game. At balik muna tayo sa laruin natin. Bangko Perlas at 11. Tacloban fighting Waray at 8. Zong, turn back. Try to. Hey, that was a good attempt yes. by Amanda. Great effort on the part of Amanda Villanueva. Medyo nakulangan lang ng konti. There you can see the replay. Yes, as we can see, uh, medyo tumataas na intensity ng Tacloban. So, yung blocking nila nagkakaroon na ng timing. Sabi mga coach, they have nothing to lose at yes. this point. Last game, of course, you want a good Zong. exit. The but that point right there will go to the Banco Perla Spikers. Yes, yeah, so, yun ang sinasabi ko sa mga players minsan. Maraming rebound, block rebound. Pero dapat ang mga players, sa after that, man. you have to be in control so, always. Kaya nangyari kay Negrito, kaya niya pa itaas yun. At siguro nag... You know, oh! With that attack and the point for her team. One of the go-to go to girls in an FAU Lady Camaral, Heather Dino. Taking her talents dito sa ating PBL Open Conference and she will be serving for the Fighting Warais. Fen M. Nas, pupunta kay Chami, is blocked and denied. She will try one ag once again. Yes. She has denied twice. Yes, good block. By timing block of from Negrito. Uh, siya talaga yung nag-face ng block na yun. She really counted well para makuha niya yung timing na yun. Kuhang-kuha nga yung timing ni Changi. Nabasa siya doon sa play na yun, Coach O. Yes. Ben M. Nas. Yes. Right timing by Meita Jima. No? Ano yan? Effective yan kahit ganun lang. Nicole Chowson gusto bumawi. Then then Pacres saves it. Sa Jows now. Chance to try it once again. And here comes Isguera with that point yeah. for the Tacloban fighting what I see. The teamwork nga ni Negrito and Isguera lumalabas. That will be the Banco save of the day. Heather Ann Kinoo. She will be serving for the girls in white. Mana Villanueva to Fen M. Nas. Too Chami. close to the net. She'll be proud in a free ball given yes, to yes, yes. the Perla Spikers. We are having a rally right now. Good rally. Patuloy pa rin nga po. I said. Negrito to yeah, Jovi Prado. Jovi. Mahirap basahin. And... Nicole Chavs is getting a little bit frustrated. Uh, and yeah. maybe food ni Esguera went on the other side. So, violation called for yes. the Tacloban fighting Warais. Pero, as you can see, yung rally nandun, yung intensity nandun, yung control ng bawat isa nandun. So, we're seeing a good match here. Gusto lumaban ng ating dalawang kupanan. And you can see, Coach O, score natin two points na lang po. Or make that three points ang lamang nitong bago pala sa Vikers. So, ganun-ganun lang nakahabol itong Tacloban. Ito na nga yung sasabi ko, Coach O, si Adina Pekar will come in for Kaya Negrito. Yeah, siguro Coach Ness nakita niya na two times, they have a good receive or tries na hindi nag-connect yung middle nila with Negrito, with Kaya. So adjustments being made here for Tacloban. Pekar to Joby Prado. Off the handle of Chami. Point here for Tacloban. Nice deep cross-court hit from Joby Prado kagaya kanina. She hits line, she tips, now deep cross-court, long cross-court. So talaga si Jogi Prado, can, you can really read her right away. So you have to be ready, be prepared. Saka all-around player and good leader itong si Jovelin Prado. Chami, soft touch. Oh, that's a good break for the Perla. So that's a low set. Mababa yung set. Nagawa na paraan ni Nicole. And nagulat lang... Uh, yung player sa Tacloba na magagawa pa ng paraan ni Nicole. Mark of a smart player ito si Chami making do with that low set. Ball is still alive but it will not go to the other side as we go to our second technical timeout. Magbabalik po ang PBL Open Conference. Now let's go to the other side of the court. Let's talk about the Banco Perla Spikers and one of their brightest stars, especially in that game against the Creamline Cool Smashers. I am talking about Chami or Nicole Chamson, Coach O sa laro na yon. 21 big points from Chami. Yes, she dominated in spike, block, and dig. 
So, talagang, she did not start the first set, but dominated the game. Uh, ang, ang tanong lang doon, is this their, really their game plan to pay her going to the fifth set sa cream line? Pero, nag-pay off yung kanilang plano and timing na pagpasok ni Nicole Samson. So, talagang slow and steady yung start ni Chang. She really built those points up. And she became player of the game. And as you can see, she even started this game. It's a game against Taklov and Fighting Marai. So far, so good. And I was asking you a while ago, but hindi pa linalabas yung iba pang mga main players nitong Bangkok for last fight. Kasi siguro, uh, for Coach Dong, uh, it's this time para matest kung anong kaya ng mga ibang hindi niya. Kasi no bearing for, no, actually, it's a bearing for sa standing niya. Pero they're already in the semifinals yet. Eh, wala namang advantage yung 1 and 2. So, both best of 3. So, ano yung luxury niya na matest yung character and uh, yung talent na iba niyang players sa laro, sa laro totoong laro. So, hinahanda niya yes. yung mga ibang players niya para sa semifinals. Yes. De Jesus, Fen and Nas will give it to Amanda Villanueva. No go. Ball is still alive. Good timing by Joe Prado. Nice defense by Bicar. Here comes Dim Dim, medyo mababa lang. Point will go to the Bangkok Perla Spikers. Four point lead for them. Well, yung idea ni Dim Dim was good. She wants to soft spike it on the left side, but siguro konti lang. That is a motorized rescue dive of the day by Alina Bicar. Yeah, napaka-athletic nitong Bicar na to, kahit hindi malaki. Talagang sobrang bilis. Maliksi. And a wise setter also. Chami? Yeah. But that will be a violation. Yeah, it's a violation because Nicole is already on, uh, nakastablish na siya. But if she is running, nahabol yung bola, ililet go pa ng referee yan. But he is already, she is already established. Nakapwesto na siya yes, doon. Yes, so kailangan medyo perfect naman natin ang pwede. So an pero, error there by Chami. Pero mga referee naman yun, they're very lenient na eh, to keep the ball flying. Just like that coach, ito nga, denial by, the, by Barbie Marzan. And itong Fighting Warais, unti-unting hinahabol yung lead ng Bank of Perla Spikers. Slowly, they're getting there. Yung timing, nakukuha na nila. Joey Prado serving. Great serve. De Venadera. That's a good zero tempo attack from uh, De Venadera. Uh, alam na natin, veterano rin yan ng San Sebastian. And already had a few awards na rin sa Billy. A veteran player na rin si Devinadera for the Banco Perla Spikers, Barbie Merzan. Nandun si Chami. Here comes Amanda Villanueva. Found that opening. Through that block. Right smack in the middle. As we go to a timeout dito sa Taklob at Fighting Warai. Kaya mo pwesto na ng tama eh. Ay, ayun yung gumalaw eh. Binababayaan nyo lang. Yung easy, yung dali-dali ng bola mga namamatay sa atin, no? Oh. Tulungan nyo, sige, usap-usap lang siya eh. Okay. So, good time out by Coach Ness. So, what he is explaining is, they should be on the right place. Da tama, dapat. So, alam naman natin, off na si si Amanda. So, yung mga defense, kailangan alam na nila yung tendencies ni Amanda na hindi paparo ng malakas. Sa so, top spin, sa mga corners, para nakapwesto. Ang nangyayari, medyo nagugulat pa yung kloban. Yung sinasabi ni Coach Ness. So, hindi sila gumagawa ng adjustments. I, and yeah. I have to note yung block na yun ni Amanda Villanueva kay Tim Tim Pacres kanina. Grabe, nayanig yung buong bataga sa Digo na si yung Kaya yun, lucky break for an offer and last. Nabo ni Alina Bicar. And a free ball will be given dito sa Bank of Perla Spikers. Fen Imnas, TPDN, si Amanda Villanueva. Sumagot naman si Dim Dim. Quick hit by David Adela. Well, uh, naka, nakalig na si Amanda doon. Muntik na siya maapakan. <laughs> Pero good thing they kept the ball play. Tuloy-tuloy ang laro nila. Hindi sila narato sa mga pangyayari. Alina Bekar to Ginoo. Ball is still alive for the Bango Pela Spikers. Here comes Dim Dim Pacres. Denied by Villanueva and Devinadera. 
Chance to set up a play right here. De Pinodera blocked. De Jesus. Yes. Not it. And the ball is still alive right now. Yeah, so that's a good rally. The defense of Tacloban. Yes. And no one oh, home for the right. back for so, Tigers. A good uh, drop shot, cut shot from Heather Gino. So, alam niya na uh, aatras lahat ng mga def defenders. So, good cut shot. So right now, Mojo, makikita natin yung ating dalawang kuponan. Yung puso nandito talaga. Oh, yan na. Both really want to win. Great effort by the Tacloban fighting Warais. Look at Jovi Prado, ha? Talagang hinabon niya kung nasan niya. Pati yun. Good read by Galang. Yes. And that will be a point. So, so we're seeing a variation from Heather. Kanina cut shot. Now long cross-court shot from Heather Ginoo. So, you know, Coach O, these two teams, they have different, you know, reasons for winning. Gusto nang manalo na itong Tacloban Fighting Warais because they want a graceful exit. Siyempre, magandang exit dito sa ating open conference. Dito naman sa Bangko Perla Spikers, they want that number one seed. Yes. Uh, they're not called Fighting Warais for nothing. Yes. Talagang, uh, they will fight till the end. And a timeout wow. will be called by Coach Dong De La Cruz. Coach Dong wants variation. Uh, sabi niya, baguhin naman yung tendencies ng team. Uh, kung susunod niya ng combination para mabago yung block. Kasi kanina pa na to check at na nagkakaroon ng block rebound si itong Tacloban. Hindi man namamatay pero may block rebound. Nakaka-transition tuloy yung Tacloban. So some adjustments kailangan gawin itong Banco Perla Spikers as they went, want to win set number one. Nasabi mo sa akin kanina, very crucial itong set number one. Yes. Normally, dyan tumukuhan ng momentum ang bawat team. Uh, it can make or break a team. Eh. Sometimes, pagka motivated ka, tapos crucial na pagkatalo ng first set, sometimes, nagtutuloy. And we just saw that cross-court attack by oh, Amanda, Amanda Villanueva. Na maganda yung pinapakita sa daro natin ngayon. Well, I haven't seen an off day for Amanda Villanueva. <laughs> so, ganun ka, athletic yan and ka-active. And that point was care of Heather and Ginoo. For uh, the Tacloban oh. fighting Warais, Vira Megiliema will be serving and will be coming in for the girls in white. She will be doing the service specialist role. Serving for the fighting Warais. Good serve, really. It's not a uh, strong attack, but off your timing. Mm -hmm. Ni Isguera, medyo hindi siya nakaharap right away dun sa tweaker. So na-off siya, medyo malayo sa net. So kahit tip lang yun, papasok na lang. Kaya nakalusot ang tip ni Sasa de Venadera. Banco Perlas now, 23. Tacloban fighting Warais at 19. May Tajima. Ball is kept alive. Alina Bicar will send it to the Banco Perlas side. Like what, yun yung instruction ni Coach Dong kanina. Sinagawa naman ni M. Nas. Uh, luckily, nandun lang si Heather. Or and, Jovi. And another rally going on yes, here. Great nice effort. effort again by Amanda. Yes. Good. It's a good ball. Nate oh, Tajima will ball. end up a rally. Oh much to the delight yes. of her Banco So Tiger talagang, team. ako rin, masaya din ako dun sa atake ni May na yun. So talagang, Alert na alert si May Dawn. She knows what to do. Right timing. With that height, of course. She will be dominating there. It is set point for the Banco Perla Spikers. Uh. At nagkabanggaan si Amanda at no. si Divinadera while no. trying to chase that ball. Point for the Tacloban fighting with eyes. And then the ball. Four points down po ang Tacloban. Let's see kung hanggang saan abutin yung ating fighting warais. Wow, that's a good serve. And Amanda Villanueva did not anticipate that. Yeah, she thought na palabas na yung bola. 
finding the edge of that line. Itong si Heather Aguino with a great serve. She will try one more time. They are now at 21. Banco Perlas at 24. A good serve again. Chami. No go. The car. But good is tip. alive. Grumal was there. Good set again by the car. Yeah, he said. It's a good set. That's that a good one happened. It's a good tempo set again from the car. Uh, Meta Jima thought na mag oh, middle na. Let's hear from Coach Dom. Okay, sige, kaya yan. Isang maganda at sibla. Let's go, let's go. Say, 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 say. Coach Dong is just asking for a good receive here. So, Coach, ano sa tingin mo nangyari? Bakit nakahabol ito? Well, uh, it started with the, it started with the reception. So, every coach wants a team to start right. So, we have to start with the reception. Nangungulit itong si A.V. Ahomiro at ginawang ginawang pangkanta yung mic natin. But nakita natin si Coach Dong kumupo na lang siya. He let the girls talk to each other. And then, your time on the man took to... To break lang yes. the momentum of the fighting Warais. Para lumamig itong taklo ng fighting yeah. Warais. They were on the roll. Heather, yes. Heather and Gino for the serve once again. Nice serve again. It goes straight to the fighting Warais. Yes. De Jesus. Ben Imnas, pupuntan si Chami. Wow, good save. Great defense by yes. Luis Gada. Luis Gada. Luis Gada. With the attack. Nice set. Medyo bukas sa net. Oh, yeah. yun, <laughs> yun yung mga trademark ni Nicole, yung mga off, off the set, off the off, off set, nagagawa niya na paraan. So good finish by Nicole. Chami has finished that set number one, the best way she knows how, off the block. Ginamit ang blockers ng Tacloban Fighting Waray. Sa anong sabi mo dito sa set number one, Coach O? Well, slow start for both teams and then for from Fighting Waray. And then, nakita mo natin din, hindi lang didibitaw yung Fighting Waray. Siguro breaks yung huli. It's because it's an offset and then yung timing ng block hindi na hindi masyadong okay but it's a good set. Sana isa pang magandang set for us. So tignan natin kung anong mangyari sa set number 2. Magbabalik po ang Premier Volleyball League Open Conference. Bidi Kapisano once again with Coach O.